Namaste student, here we have some problem related to rationalization. Today we will try our best to complete uh, this all problems. I will do few problems and rest you have to complete by your own. So you can see here few problems here. The first two are same. Second two are also same you can see here. And here these three problems are same. And these two are same here. And they are also belongs to same problem if you can solve this one you are able to solve it also okay so you we will proceed we will not waste our time and we will continue okay so here the first one will go that is find the rationalizing factor that means what number you will going to multiply with this one so that you will get rational form okay that means rational number you will get so this is your rational number and what number you will going to multiply and that multiplication part is your rationalizing fact so we'll proceed here so what uh, what we have if we'll take so here the formula our target to rationalize our target is that a square minus b square and to get this one you need a plus b into a minus b so here right now you have root 5 plus root 6 minus root 2 this one you have take this one as your a and this is your b that means you need a plus b okay so here now you can solve it by this formula that a plus b a minus b will give you a square minus b square so here we are going to proceed that means a square minus b square this will give you a plus b a square plus b square plus 2ab minus 2 and this will give you 9 plus 2 root 30 again you are getting look at here irrational number our target to get rational so same concept we will use a plus b has given here you need a minus b so now proceed with this this is your a plus b you need a minus b okay so here solving this one a plus b a minus b a square that is 9 square minus 2 root 30 whole square so here 81 minus you will get 120 and this will give you minus 13 and look at here this is your rational number okay that means what you have done you multiply this one and then whatever result you have got you multiply with that one that means this one is your this part after that you are multiplying this therefore rationalizing factor of root 5 plus root 6 minus root 2 is what root 5 plus root 6 plus root 2 into 9 minus 2 root 30 this is your answer okay hope you understood next problem will proceed so here we have another problem so here they are asking here rationalize the denominator you have to rationalize this part that means you need to make it rational form the denominator you have to make rational okay to make it rational again we'll take the way we have taken this one as a and you have to take this part is your a and this one is your b that means a plus b you can say that sir if i take this root 3 plus root 10 as b and this one as a yes you can take no problem we can take any any two of them okay but we will proceed with this one first so here we have let's proceed next problem so we have okay let's proceed here we have 1 by root 2 plus root 3 plus root 10 so next step is a 
this is your this part by what we get here root 2 plus root 3 plus root 10 and down we will get root 2 plus root 3 minus root 10 upper one will remain same and then we will get this is your a and this is your b a b that means a plus b a minus b a square minus b square solve it root 2 plus root 3 minus root 10 this will give you 2 plus 3 plus 2 root 6 minus 10 this will get minus 5 so you can write here uh, 2 root 6 minus 5 look at here this is your 2 root 6 minus 5 is a rational number again you have to multiply by the conjugate of this one that means 2 root 6 plus 5 by 2 root 6 plus 5 so after multiplying the above part what we will get here so I will go for this one down we will get here a square minus b square upper one once you multiply this one root 2 2 root 6 plus 5 this one root 3 2 root 6 plus 5 next is minus root 10 2 root 6 plus 5 so here we are getting see this will give us what uh, 2 root 2 root 6 can be written as root 2 into root 3 ok and then 5 into root 2 will give you 5 root 2 next one 2 2 root 3 is there into root 3 6 can be written as root 2 into root 3 5 into root 3 5 root 3 here you are getting minus 2 root 10 can be written as root 5 into root 2 and root 6 can be written as root 2 into root 3 next one will give you minus 5 root 10 ok so denominator we are getting 2 to the 4 root 6 6 that is 24 minus 25 so let's see upper part so here root 2 root 2 will give you 2 2 into 2 4 4 root 3 this is your 4 root 3 next this is keep your 5 root 2 same next year root 3 root 3 will give you 3 3 2 just 1 6 so you are getting minus 6 root 2 5 root 3 5 root 3 here root 2 root 2 4 2 2 and this 2 4 so here you are getting 4 root 15 we cannot do anything so we need to multiply here 15 and this one minus 5 root 10 and denominator we are getting minus 1 okay now you take this minus 1 up so our result would be it will change so here see 5 okay so next problem we will go for next problem here we have next problem so the problem is this one you can see if x equals to 6 minus root 35 find x square plus 1 by x square ok here we will proceed this one so what we have we have x equals to 6 minus root 35 ok we need 1 by x that is 1 by 6 minus root 35 we can make it rationalize root 35 that means 6 plus root 35 by 6 plus root 35 
so we'll get here 6 plus root 35 and down we are getting a square minus b square that means 6 plus root 35 that means 36 minus 35 and we'll give you 6 plus root 35 down is 1 so we we'll no need to write so here we are getting 1 by x equals to 6 plus root 35 now the question will arise sir what is the need of this 1 by x okay yes we need so we know what we know we know that x square plus 1 by x square equals to x plus 1 by x whole square minus 2 now the question will answer how, how could you say that this one is equal to b do you remember this one take it this one a and this one is your b so a plus b whole square how could you write a square plus b square plus 2 into a into b look at x and x cancel 1 1 to 1 and this one will give you x square that means x square plus 1 by x square and there is a 2 remain 2 if you take this one this side you can see that this formula okay so you are getting this one so we'll apply here what value we have got x equals to 6 minus root 35 1 by x equals to 6 plus root 35 and there is a whole square minus 2 root 35 plus 35 plus root 35 will cancel will give you 12 and 12 square minus 2 this means 144 minus 2 will give you 142 this is your answer okay so next problem will proceed this one find the value of a and b where this one where 5 minus 2 root 3 by 7 minus 4 root 3 equals to a minus b root 3 we'll proceed this question okay we'll go for this one okay next problem let's write what we have so here we have this one we have a equals to sorry not a 5 minus 2 root 3 by 7 minus 4 root 3 equals to a minus b root 3 so are you going to solve this a minus b? our target is that to get the rational see whatever problem you have seen in this chapter so here in each case you have to rationalize the denominator wherever possible okay so here we'll proceed for this one so how are we going to proceed same style 5 minus 2 root 3 by 7 minus 4 root 3 is there so you need to make it conjugate part this one you can see and this is possible only when this is equal okay if and only this symbol means if and only if we can continue now see now you cross multiply cross no sorry not cross multiply you just simply multiply it 5 into 7 plus 4 root 3 minus 2 root 3 7 plus 4 root 3 and down we are getting a square minus b square on this side a minus b root 3 remains same next simple multiply 35 plus 15 root 3 minus 14 root 3 minus look at here 8 and root 3 root 3 give you this one 3 24 okay down you are getting 49 minus 48 equals to a minus b root 3 this will give you 11 and here we are getting uh, some room and mistake what see sorry this is your 20 okay so this will give you 6 root 3 down is 1 no need to write a minus b root 3 
so here you can see compare it okay how are you going to compare make it compare see here there is a plus and there is a minus so how will you make it minus here what you do take minus and inside minus 6 okay and now you can see that this look like exactly same in the right hand side you can see here a a minus minus and b is inside so comparing both side if you compare both side you can see comparing both side what you can see here that a equals to 11 and b equals to what minus 6 this is your answer okay our okay so this b would be what 2 minus root 5 by 2 plus root 5 plus 2 plus root 5 by 2 minus root 5 now you can see the take the LCM of down part so here a plus b minus b in 2 would be there this one and this will be this okay now cross multiply but this one will be here whole square and this part will be here whole square so break this one a plus b whole square that means a square plus b square minus 2 to the 4 okay 4 root 5 this will be this and this side you will get a square plus b square plus 4 root 5 and down we are getting a square minus b square that means a square minus b square look at here plus 4 root 5 and minus root 4 5 uh, root 5 cancel here 9 9 18 you are getting okay therefore sorry okay you are getting 18 and down you are getting look at here 4 minus 5 minus 1 that means you will get minus 18 therefore a plus b whole q equals to what minus 18 whole q and uh, our value Okay, we need to calculate it. So here we have that is 5832 minus. This is your answer. I hope. Okay, you have understood. Thank you very much.